guys, yeah, we're down here in JB and in Durban I've got plenty of connections but if you come down to JB, uh, Jeffrey's Bay as most of you know it and if you want to buy your tackle, uh, your diver products and the store that stocks most of your diver products is Angling Marine Connection. Uh, they just offer the super tubes so if you're getting lost ask anyone in Jeffrey's Bay with super tubes and ask them for Lester. Lester is like the tackle mayor of uh, Jeffrey's Bay and everyone knows Lester. Angling Marine Connections was kind enough to hook us up some nice yellowtail. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, went right. all over JB looking for yellowtail and couldn't find and we got down to the store here yeah, and we found everything we needed. The guys went out of their way, yeah, they brought in some it. fresh yellowtail for us to fish with. Yeah. So guys, make your way down here and come see Lester. Lester, tell us a little bit about your store. Yeah, I know um, me and Jack, we got together in January. We sit around the table. This is our way forward. We want to do the shop. And for the good of God's will, we did it. There's an awesome shop for you guys to come and enjoy. Enjoy your fishing in down in Jay Bay. Any um, any experience? We will, we will we will give you some experience on fishing, fishing fishing trips, fishing areas where you guys want to fish. Well done. Come down and come enjoy, guys. Guys, as you can see, Lesh has brought us some beautiful bait. Uh, shipped have been specially for us for the Free State uh, Angling Team to fish down here at Jay Bay. Uh, we made a request this morning and he said, no problem guys, I'll bring you small yellowtail and the best quality you can uh, find on the coastline. And there it is. Thank you, Lesha. Awesome, awesome, awesome bait. I'm sure the guys are going to enjoy it and officially enjoy it even more. Pike's Alley, about four, five k's from Jeffreys Bay, uh, on the south side of Sea Koi. The sea is up, the uh, wind is up, conditions don't look too great, uh, but I threw a bait for a raggy. There should be a spot here, a gully around, we'll give it an hour here, if nothing happens here, then we're going to go scratching on the bricks. That's all we can do today, it doesn't look very promising. But you'll never know, bait in the water can count a fish. So that's what we wait for. Uh, better bait in the water than a pen on the table. Right, catch you guys later. We have water, like this Boris. And after with my friend Anton, as is from Sapia, Bluefontein. We are here today here by Paradise Strand. Bikes, but they cost not much. The of the is not much. So we are going to go to the house and we are going to go to the house. So we are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the it's an eight team, uh, eight guys per team, and the rest will be a B team. And I'm fishing in the A team and the NOA A team. Uh, it's a four on four competition. Uh, there's three uh, clubs uh, that are representing the province. Uh, now I'm getting a bit of a bite here, it's something small. Uh, the three clubs that are representing the province uh, it's the police team, Virginia, and Blue Waters. Uh, we're down here at Jeffreys, uh, 2019 Free State Champs. I'm getting a bit of a bite here guys, but something small. I hope it's not a barbel. Yeah, it feels like a barbel. <laughs> uh, this is one of Ray's special uh, barbel. When he comes down to this part of the world, they call him the barbel slayer. Uh, he catches the most amount of barbels on this coastline. Actually, when he comes to this coastline, the barbels go offshore. They don't want to be anywhere near him. Yeah, as you can see, we got Dino, about 
10 meters away from me and keep further down the beach. Uh, they also fish for blue waters. Uh, that's the police team from uh, the Free State. They're fishing in the yellow and blue. And if you look down there in the bush, it's Virginia. They got one angler down there. Nice throw there, Dino. Nice throw. I see that's, uh, that Soltus Maxi and that grinder lead really works for you. I'm glad you changed over. Welcome to the dark side. Yeah, Dino is battling with his throw, guys. And then uh, I migrated him up to something that's better. I, he got himself a grinder elite and the Soltus uh, 8000 Max Seal uh, with J braid, 50 pound J braid. And he was telling me last night that he thinks he increased his throw by 25 30 meters just by fishing with the right tackle. So, yeah, guys, the grinder elite and the Max Seal 8000 brilliant combination for casting and landing big fish. Try it out guys. I just saw a bump with my rod. Realized there was something there. Waited my rod, my sinker was stuck. When I feed my sinker, I knew I was on or something. Just not getting made, weed. Yeah, guys, the uh, conditions are horrible. The big seas, uh, strong winds, so yeah. I decided to change over to scratching. I'm gonna try and see if I scratch a hot tot or a small gully or something like that. Uh, just keep the board ticking. So, yeah, I see everyone's moving over to scratching now. Nothing much is happening. Just a couple of small fish here and there. Guys, it's really quiet. The conditions are bad. I'm going to wait out on that reef and see what's out there. I'm trying something st stupid and different. <laughs> I'm opening my options for a small fish <laughs> and a bite size for a raggy. Uh, I'm going to fish light, but you can check that out. Let's see what's going to happen. Sometimes stupidity is the way to go. Well, there's some fresh mackerel from the Kingfisher all the way from Durban. Some lovely chocker as well brought in by Atkan Marine. And for once I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just making a plan. <laughs> going with the flow. Now I'm going to Put a mix masala and try and maximize my options. Sometimes doing things out of the ordinary works. You know, plans are, are meant to be broken. So I had a plan this morning before I got to the beach. No, I don't. <laughs> so this is plan X, Y, and Z. I forgot about B and A already. I've tried all that, didn't work. One leopard shark that made size.
Guys, I wasn't a swim. That was a crawl, dive, <laughs> <laughs> scuba dive. Uh. Every type of dive you can think about. Told you it's difficult. I was in a hole, hot the hole. It was really, really difficult. It's a long, long way out there. Morning guys, day three, uh, free state champs. It's been a hard two days, horrible weather, uh, heavy winds, big sea. It's settled on quite a bit today. The conditions are much better. There's still lots of rain around. We're down here at Blue Water Bay uh, on the north side of PE and we're here to target the Blue Rays and maybe the odd raggy. Uh, it's a small stretch of beach, I would say about 3Ks uh, with 50 anglers and this place is known for the Blue Rays. So, soft baits this morning, bite traces and as far as we can throw and hopefully it bites on. We're going to get wet the whole day, that's definitely sure. I hope the weather clears up because it's just been miserable for the last two days. Just rain, wind and everything else it goes with, with no fish. So it's been hard, just the odd fish here and there, and all small stuff. Hoping to get some bigger fish today. If not, coming back to Durban for the summer fish. Guys, this is the bait you see made every day. Nothing different, nothing special. White bait, a little bit of sardine or red eye. Small base, throw as far as you can. Uh, no foam or very little foam. We're targeting blue rays. Uh, blue rays are species that swims on the ocean bed and it feeds down there. They do come up every now and again. They'll come up for bait, but try to keep the bait as low as possible. To get a little bit of movement, that's all you're looking for. So making the base a little harder than the, the top piece. So even if the pickers come, they're gonna have a problem trying to eat me out. A little bit of the ink. Wrap that inside out. Trim the bottom so you don't catch your sinker. The bait does not stay attached to your sinker. Unclips easy. Little Blu-ray bait. Lots of mush.
another nice little eagle. Yeah guys, it's a hard day fishing. I think there's about two minutes left, but time's up. And job done. Two eagle rays, a lesser and a barbel. And the conditions that we had, it's an excellent day's fishing. So yeah, I'm quite happy for today's catches.